Hey guys, this is John Wynn from Immunology Class. Today I want to talk about monoclonal antibodies, abbreviated MAB. What are they and why are they important to medicine? Um, before we begin, actually, there uh, was a special issue of Science Magazine last month that covered monoclonal antibodies, and I think you guys should check it out. Uh, you can find it at the library at MCBHS or stop by Professor DeMossi's office. Um, it's very interesting. It talks about how the advent of these so-called magic bullets uh, gave rise to modern therapeutics and diagnostics, and definitely check it out. All right, so what is a monoclonal antibody? Well, from the name, you probably may guess that it's a kind of antibody. And you're right, they are antibodies, but what makes them special is the fact that they all originate from a single hybrid cell line called the hybridoma. These hybridomas are basically fusions between antibody-producing B cells and myelomas, which are cancerous plasma cells. These cells are immortal, and they've also lost their ability to synthesize new antibody chains, preventing variation and allowing a high degree of specificity. In contrast, polyclonal antibodies, as you can tell by its name, are secreted by different B cell lineages, and thus have multiple corresponding epitopes or binding sites found on antigens. This specific binding affinity confers an advantageous feature in monoclonal antibody drug therapy. Because they are so specific, they may only have mild side effects, unlike other treatments. Monoclonal antibodies are like any other antibodies we've learned in class so far. They're only special because they have a really high specificity, um, and they also are secreted by hybridomas rather than normal B cells. But they function pretty much the same as any other antibodies. They make pathogens more visible to the immune system, and they do this by initiating the classical pathway of complement activation, um, neutralization, opsonization, something we've learned already. Uh, they also block receptors that interfere with communication, um, they can also intercept signals that uh, prevent cancerous cells from recruiting blood vessels. Um, what else? They also deliver radiation. Uh, these are actually very special monoclonal antibodies uh, because they're uh, another, they're, there's actually two subtypes. Actually, there's more, but we'll, we'll talk about two for now. There's uh, the conjugated monoclonal antibodies and there's the naked monoclonal antibodies. The conjugated um, MABs are actually just regular MABs attached to a radioactive substance, uh, a drug, or a toxin, just another uh, element that uh, enhances the therapy. But for now, we'll just focus on just the naked monoclonal antibodies, just the, the antibodies itself. In 1986, the first monoclonal antibody drug was approved by the FDA. It was called Moraminab, and you can tell that it's a monoclonal antibody drug because it ends in AB probably standing for antibody. Uh, its epitope was the CD3 antigen on human T cells uh, because it was used to prevent transplant rejection. This blocking of the T cell response prevents the T cell mediated rejection of the transplanted organ, specifically kidneys. Um, since then, over 30 monoclonal antibodies have been approved by the FDA and many more are uh, in clinical trials at the moment. Scientists have created other monoclonal antibody drug therapies for other diseases such as Crohn's disease, psoriasis, and even breast cancer. Monoclonal antibodies play a very important role in the development of vaccines, specifically HIV. And we'll talk more about these specific therapies in the future, but to wrap it up, let's talk about Moraminab. Uh, it's the drug that treated transplant rejection, uh, as we talked about before. Uh, Moraminab is actually derived from mouse antisera. Mirroring C regions of the antibody, mirroring being a word from the Latin mirinus or mouse, uh, these C regions or constant regions diminish efficacy of the drug and also increase the likelihood of complications. Now this problem uh, prompted scientists to make a chimeric monoclonal antibody uh, that combined both mouse variable regions and also human C regions and this uh, increased efficacy uh, greatly. Uh, there's another kind of um, MAB called humanized monoclonal antibody, and we'll talk more about these um, and the differences between uh, these three, uh, murine, uh, chimeric, and uh, humanized, uh, in future videos. So that wraps it up for the introduction to monoclonal antibodies. Uh, thanks again for watching. Yeah, you now know what um, MABs are and uh, why they are so important in medicine. Um, I hope this was useful to you, and uh, anyways, next time we'll talk more about the production of 
uh, monoclonal antibodies and how they're created. Thanks.